everybody, this is Robin Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby, and sprawled out before us on the bench is and the Super Steerman from Electrofly. And many, many, many pieces. Many, many pieces. Surprising amount of pieces. Yeah, I was a bit surprised when we started pulling them out. It didn't seem like we were going to get to the bottom of the box. <laughs> if really, this is, this is a true ARF. We've said it many times before. There's a lot to be done with this. They do have um, a couple things pre-hinged, though, so that's, sure. you know, that's kind of a nice thing. In fact, this is a biplane, which is, I mean, this is right up your alley. You're just, you're just Mr. Biplane. Yeah, I love Biplane. So this is a Super Steerman. Yes. The original Steerman was a trainer. Trainer World War II, uh, used to, along with the PT, or the, yeah, the PT-19, mm -hmm. uh, the Steerman being a PT-17. And then after World War II, they used the platform of the Steerman basically to streamline it a little bit and was used extensively for aerobatic. And there's still a lot of PT-17s out there, a lot of Steermans done in military colors. It's a very popular plane. There were a lot of them built. A lot mm -hmm. of reproductions have been built. It's just a good flying plane, nice, stable platform. And, of course, I was telling you earlier, the thing I love about the Stearman, which the Super Stearman doesn't possess this, but it just has that big raw radial sticking out of the nose. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you've got the PT-17 itself has got such beautiful lines, and you get to that nose, it's just raw radial engine. Yeah. It's and, well, you get the raw covered Cowl yes, I do. We do. <laughs> and with a radial engine in it. So. With a, yeah, with a yeah, but the, the Super Steerman is, uh, like I said, it's a little more streamlined. Things were done for to make it a little more aerobatic, stronger, I'm sure, in many, many ways. Well, this is a not only is an incredible scale replica, it's just a beautiful kit. Yes, altogether. it is. We've seen this yeah. built at, um, at Toledo, actually, this spring. Yeah. So we've been pretty excited about getting our hands on, a, on the uh, Super Steerman. Rob, why don't you walk us through all the features, I think. It was probably better than just pointing out all the parts bags. Yeah. I mean, I know we're like in your happy land. We've got cabanes and interplane struts. Anything with cabanes and interplane struts, Be right? Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Get us familiar with the kit. All right. To complement the scale detail that we were talking about, we start with a fuselage here. We've got a couple of pilots, which I know are your favorites. Cabanes and pilots. Rob's interplanes. In, Rob's energy. in big heaven, man. <laughs> We've got some gauges there for each guy. So if this one falls asleep, he's got it under control. Well, they're missing feet and guts, so I think there's bigger problems than the instrumentation. Matter. Scarves go on heads. That's all you yeah. need. We've got our removable hatch here to get into the guts of the Rare plane. earth magnets on the back. Yes. Which is it's cool. It's just gotten to be can, such commonplace. It has. Uh, servos, battery, uh, ESC, everything's right there. Grab a hold of, uh, get into and work on it. So it's a nice big hatch, really, for this size plane. Mm-hmm. We've got our motor mount up here, plywood, uh, offset, the right offset, offset is already, already dialed in. Yep. You see that? Yep. It's already put in for you, so we don't have to worry about that. Just nicely built, nicely covered, just clean looking. Um, radio, or the, the radial engine that yep. I was talking about that was exposed on the other ones in the cowl here, streamlined. This is also done with magnets, yeah. which makes it real nice to turn it the right way and it snaps right into place. So we've got that going on. Uh, wheel pants. We've got multiple parts bags. So let's look at the wings first, and we'll look at those. We've got a, uh, what's this called, Kurt? Turtleneck. There you go. Yep. All right. That goes back here. Uh, some of the surfaces are hinged. Some are not. In this particular case, because of the way you have to install the tail surface, they did not hinge the elevators. So you'll have, those will have to be hinged. The rudder is hinged onto the what little bit of horizontal stabilizer you do have you mean there. vertical stabilizer? Or vertical stabilizer. Or if you're flying sideways. Then it's a horizontal. These do interlock for makes this construction a little bit easier there. The wings are already hinged and covered for you, but there is still a lot of work to do with linkages and uh, setup, things like that. But just look at the detail on it. It's just a nice oh, kit. Beautiful. Very nice kit. All right, now to get to the um, less flashy things, I guess. Here's your cabane struts, Kurt. Oh, there they are. Yeah, cabanes. Uh, <laughs> Actually, are those are cabanes. No, those are interplanes. There you go. Oh, okay. These yeah, are yeah. the, the regular right, struts. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. yeah, there you go. We've got our wheels, got our landing gear. Um, we've got some a hatch here, a plastic hatch that needs to be put on. Just a bunch of little pieces, parts, many, many parts in the bags. Uh, everything has to be put together. It really does. Nothing is other than a few areas being hinged and it being covered. You know, there's a lot of work to do yep. yet. There's a lot of assembly. Yep. You just kind of graze over that. You can get an idea. We've got our uh, instructions here with our decals that will have to be put on, and that's really the crucial part. <laughs> there isn't really a whole lot to be done on no, a decal actually, side. No, actually, there's a couple numbers for the wings. Yep. You're all set. And 
that pretty much completes what comes out of the box and some of the, the highlights of the kit itself. Kurt, why don't you talk to us about what we're going to put in it for a radio? Okay. A uh, surprising number of parts actually are going to be in the radio system. Uh, I say that it's just you get it out on the bench and you realize there's a lot to go in. Uh, we're going to start off with a 2200 milliamp uh, three cell, 11.1 .1 volt, uh, 25C discharge Electrofly Power Series battery, uh, LiPo battery. And uh, we're going to be putting a 35 amp Electrofly Silver Series ESC in there. And we'll be swinging a 10 by 7 e APC prop on, surprisingly, our 10 size rim fire motor, which, Rob, I think you and I both were kind of shocked when we pulled this out. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I'm sure there's a, there a method to the madness, as there always is. That's a lot of juice for a, a very short uh, airframe. But, yes, um, it is. That, the power is always a good thing. Right? Well, you, you like it. Um, we have a couple splitter or splitter, and we have some extensions to go in for our servos. We're going to be using S3114 Futaba. We're going to be using a 617 FS receiver from Futaba, which is a uh, seven channel receiver, a uh, fast receiver, which we'll be using our T8FG Tried transmitter. True. Yeah, the old T8FG. Um, this has worked out really well for us. All, again, all the uh, Habaco family of products we use at Futaba to test. The uh, systems with so it's it's just great. It's a fantastic computer mixing radio. It gives us all of our, our mixing options and our dual rates and our expos and all that good stuff. So it'll work out really nice in the steering to be able to dial in some some uh, custom mixes and stuff if need be. Well, Kurt, here we have a small park flyer size. I'm not going to call it a park flyer with a 10 in it in a 2200 milliamp three cell. Yeah. But traditionally in this size plane, you would see something on the lines of maybe a 400 size. You, you kind of would think so, especially when you pull a fuselage out. I mean, if you look at that, it's, this is a, that's a short fuse. Very so short. There's not a whole lot Very going short. on there. So yeah. um, when you see, think of that big old power, uh, powerful 10 hanging off the front of it. But, you know, again, biplanes are, they can be a little deceiving. Yeah. You've got so much wing area and you said yeah. a 14 to 17 uh, yeah, ounces. 14 to 17 ounce wing loading. Plus, you know, the the style of plane that it is, super, yep. super steerman's were aerobatic planes. I so. think the incident of the main wings, the uh, the, uh, the the streamline of the airframe is yeah. it's meant for speed. Yeah. So if if the uh, if our small version's any any uh, representation of the full size steerman, we should be in good shape. So yeah. I don't think we have a problem getting off the ground either way with our tent. So. We'll get started on the extensive build. Um, I don't know who's going to do this one. This may yeah, be this a, would be a toss up. We'll this see. May, this may be you. We may have to put this in the real shop and. Uh, and get you to put all those little tiny pieces and yeah. cabanes and planes and pieces, and parts and stuff. Mainly in the planes <laughs> and rain. <laughs> we'll get the build going, get the battery charged up, and we'll see how it performs in the air. Make sure you come back afterwards and check out the review footage.